Hello, I'm Loki Legionson, and welcome back to another episode or installment of Lokianism. Enjoy. The Lokian path is the structure or methods by which we must strive to live our lives. It isn't easy, but anything worth doing, which involves personal development and behavior modification, isn't easy. Change happens naturally, yet when we become comfortably set in our own ways, we find that change can most definitely inflict fear and distress. It's the fear of the unknown and the anxiety filled with distress of not knowing exactly what will become of our current situation. However, whenever we are in harsher conditions, according to the way our personal preferences deem normal, and we step outside of that normal, we do eventually adapt to whatever conditions by which we are totally immersed, be it positive or negative. And if it's negative surroundings, we will eventually adapt and evolve to fit the situation. We must strive to act appropriately for others around us, as well as how we treat ourselves. This is not always easy in our darkest hours, for there are constant distractions that are always trying to impede their way into our lives and thereby throw us off course. At the same time, we should also give thanks to these distractions, for if we maintain awareness and focus on the Lokian path, it will be difficult to be shaken and thrown off course. If we make the effort to ingrain the morals of the Lokian path into our minds, then we won't have to depend upon our tendencies of faulty thinking. We will just react out of habit based upon the choices of proper thinking or feeling in this particular sense. Ultimately, we know what is right. We know this because we can feel it in our hearts. Our essential human nature is to love. We must strive to do what is right for our families, our folk, and ourselves because we believe it to be the best outcome for the livelihood of the human experience. Everything in the media has taught us to be selfish and to use our power to subdue or overcome any individual that stands in our way without consideration for the personal responsibility for our consequences. With great power comes great might and responsibility, and to utilize that might for the betterment for those around us. We must live with strength and honor, whilst making decisions which are true and just. Everything that happens to us, be it positive or negative, contributes to the accumulation of experience which makes or breaks our character. Without the wisdom to observe what is right, and thus make proper decisions for spiritual growth, the trials and tribulations we face will not have taught us anything, and we would therefore continue to fall back into the same loop of self-sabotage or personal hindrance. We must care enough for others that we take the time to work on and properly harvest ourselves. For if we can't take care of ourselves mentally and physically, we cannot respect anyone else. If we fail to properly ingrain and harvest the Lokian path into our everyday living and seek only that of instant gratification, we will lose patience and thence become distracted. And it won't matter what we originally intended because we will lose sight and get blindsided by everything objective to us. And we will thus bear rotten fruit. We must harvest patience for the just rewards of our hard work. Each step we take generates a specific frequency, and that specific frequency is based upon our true intentions. In order for us to experience peace, we must walk with a degree of honor. True honor in oneself is deemed by how worthy we feel through the loyalty to our virtuous beliefs. When we stop comparing ourselves to others and hold true to what is and accept what is, we will act with consistency of character and will become content with our internal structure. Thus, we will experience and come to know peace. Once we accept the truth of perfection in all that exists external to us, we will begin to look past our own disruptive thoughts, configurations, and personal preferences, and truly see that everything is happening exactly the way by which we subjectively and objectively set it into motion. And without our personal commentaries on every event in life, we will come to see that all is truly perfect. 
And by acceptance of the internal dynamics of who we think we are, we can accept the external conditions, circumstances, and events as they unfold. Now, because of our personal attachment to these human vessels or chariots, it's only natural to feel fear once this body becomes afraid, threatened, or insecure. However, we must have the awareness of transiency of energy and take the steps necessary to traverse and overcome our fears. And that takes courage. We must strive to make decisions that will upgrade our position, even when that decision may be an unpopular or uncomfortable one. We must always strive with perseverance in all that we do. Never settle for less than the personal best of our efforts. No matter how many times we fail, we must remind ourselves through daily practice and awareness of the Lokian path to rise above the establishments of every comfort zone. This is preparation for what is to come and what will be. For Loki will always give us more than he thinks that we can handle in order to see as we see ourselves. The ways in which we persevere through the storms of life. This is an ever-changing event for as we as individuals change on the inside subjectively, so does everything on the outside in the external world objectively. As above, so below. The motto of chaos. That which we feel in regards to our internal conditions is truly reflected in the external conditions by which we experience. Therefore, everything we feel about ourselves and everyone else is the way we perceive the world. No matter what is currently happening in our internal and external world, be it positive or negative, we must remember, this too shall pass. As long as we don't allow ourselves to overtly attach to external conditions, and understand that we're simply an expression and extension of everyone and everything around us at all times, then we will be able to accept the truth of perfection of all that is, was, or ever will be. We will become much happier and will thus allow us to, the understanding to walk with unconditional love, kindness, forgiveness, and compassion for everyone and everything. For we are all connected to everyone and everything. So by giving yourself love and respect, you thus love and respect all life around you. At times we feel like we are letting go of ourselves. At times we feel out of control, afraid, and tired of doing the same old routine. However, we must understand that these tired out and worn out routines are just a test. These are the greatest lessons, for the greatest lessons come with the darkest hours. Because when we let go and decide to stop hitting, digging, we hit rock bottom. And by hitting rock bottom, we see that there is nothing left. There is no deeper that we can go at that point. So the best way to maintain is to look up and start climbing out of this hole we've dug ourselves into. We only torture ourselves. We only place that negative label upon things that we don't necessarily agree with. And that all comes down to personal configuration and personal preference. Be not afraid, for we all have these unique preferences. And that's what makes us beautiful. So you see... When you see the true beauty in yourself and look around, you'll be able to see that beauty reflected on the outside. So rise to the occasion. Own yourself. Be not attached to the senses of the flesh, for this too shall pass. You need not be condemned by your own spirit. You need not be condemned by your own damnation. No. Rather, understand exactly what it is that you need to do and take ownership and responsibility. I love you.